Okay, this is a Canyon S 4524 ball bonder. And what I'll do is I'll do a couple of bonds first to uh, demonstrate the operation. And we're at search one. First bond is made, now it's at loop. We'll step back, search two, and a second bond is made. As you can see, we can go in the opposite direction. It's bond one, or it's search two, and it's bond two. Okay, we have a uh, heated work stage. It's rotary type, so the top rotates. And our temperature controller is here, and it's recommended to operate the uh, work holder at 150C when doing gold wire uh, ball bonding. We have our chessman here that moves the stage. And with this particular stage, we have a, uh, you can adjust the height slightly up or down by using this knob here. That's what that, the purpose of this is. And you use your uh, left push button here is your uh, operation. Let's say we want to go to search one, I'll press and hold. Now we're at search one and as you release that, bond one is formed and now it's up at loop. Loop can be adjusted by your loop knob over here. And if you look, you can see that the head is moving up and down. So you set your loop height there. And we'll step back by moving the chessman. And again, I'll press the left button. Press and hold, we're at search two. The bond is made. Now you see on this left side here, we have a tail adjustment. I'll explain that later. But here's our, the top channel, the top row here is for your uh, bond position one, and this is for two. And you'll have your search, your power setting, which is your ultrasonic power, time and force for each individual bond, one and two. And while we're here, here's a test button here, and as you can see, the ultrasonics is tuned, and a US light will turn on as you press that. We have a clamp open and close switch. Now the clamp is up here. It'll feed the wire, it helps feed the wire through the uh, capillary. Okay, I can open and close the clamp. And we have a light on and off switch. And while we have the light off here, I just wanna point out that there is a spotlight for our target, uh, target illuminator option on this system and there's actually a little reticle that's uh, illuminated on where the bond is formed. You can see a little red light there. Mm -hmm. That helps you uh, position your bond. Yep. All right, we're in uh, semi-automatic mode here. And we also have a man Z, and when doing manual Z, you'd be using this little black knob on the side of the chessman. You press down and that'll actually move your head up and down, and it's controlled by how far you press in on that uh, black button. So I can slowly come down and make, make the first bond. And once you start doing manual bond, you have to complete the sequence by doing your second bond. Again, I'll come down slowly, make the second bond. So just to explain a few more of these uh, buttons here, we have an NEFO, which is, uh, stands for Negative Electronic Flame Off, which is the, uh, the voltage going to your, your wand here, your EFO wand. And if you ever need to create a... Uh, oh, what that'll do to it, we'll go back to NEFO. We also have a short and open here. What happens is if the uh, ball is not formed correctly, if, whether you have a short or an open, it'll be indicated here, and a sequence of bonding will stop at that point and you'll have to do an error recovery on that. And to do an error recovery, uh, one, one of the uh, procedures you can do is, is to bring the wand over by pressing on the uh, solenoid here on the left side. You can see that, and then you, you can do a manual spark. You can adjust your ball size by using this knob here. And then you have a reset button here, and Finally, you have a motor on off, and that's the motor that drives your um, bond head up and down. You can shut that off for, if you ever need to, need to do some kind of maintenance or something on the system.
I just want to explain where the wire gets loaded in. We have uh, this cap covering our spool of wire. It's a two inch spool of gold wire. And there's a, a cap on here and we have a glass feed tube. So what you do is you place the spool in here. This cap with the feed through in, you know, the, the uh, glass feed tube. And you'll feed the wire down through that tube. It'll come down along this plate and there's a little glass slide here. So the wire's underneath the slide and this is just a tensioner to put a little tension on that wire underneath the slide. It gets fed through this eyelet here. Then working your way down, it's gonna go through your drag clamp here. And as you open your clamp using the clamp switch here, you'll see that both the drag clamp and your uh, clamp opens up. So the wire comes down through here, through the clamps, and down through the capillary. And that's how you would feed your wire through it. And then this, this again is your EFO one. It will create the ball after your uh, second bond. And one other additional thing is after the second bond, there's going to be a slight tail hanging out of the capillary, and that's adjustable by your tail setting here on your left side. You can adjust the length of the tail.